Yoshinori Osumi was born in Fukuoka, Japan in 1945. He started the seminal work for which he is awarded the Nobel Prize at Tokyo University. This year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine is awarded for discoveries concerning autophagy. The word autophagy is derived from the Greek language and means self-eating, to eat oneself. In the human body, self-eating, autophagy, is a process by which our cells reduce their own components to release energy and to build new functional parts. Yoshinori Osumi decided the pro to study the process of autophagy in baker's yeast. Yeast cells contain a single large lysosome known as the vacuole. Osumi found a clever way to visualize the accumulation of autophagosomes in the vacuole by making starved cells unable to uh, degrade the content of the vacuole. He then used this method to search among thousands of mutants for yeast cells that had lost the capacity to activate autophagy. This ingenious strategy led to the discovery that autophagy is regulated by a large number of genes. As many as 15 essential autophagy genes were identified in the first study published in 1993. Having discovered the autophagy genes, Osumi moved on to the next question, that was to understand how the products of the genes work together. Thanks to this pioneering work, we have today a detailed understanding of the molecular mechanism of autophagy. We now know that autophagy regulates important physiological functions of the cells and that the effects of autophagy are associated with many human diseases. Through the removal of damaged proteins and organelles, autophagy promotes cell renewal. Failure of autophagy is therefore associated with cell aging and with many diseases of old age, such as Alzheimer's disease and type 2 diabetes. Finally, too much autophagy may have undesired effects, in cancer, as for example in cancer, where autophagy can promote the growth of tumor cells and their resistance to anti-cancer drugs. The discoveries made by Yosinori Osumi have been instrumental in revealing the mechanism and significance of a fundamental physiological process. And there is growing hope that this knowledge will lead to the development of new strategies for the treatment of, of many human diseases.